Hello everybody, I'm Argolfomf, and I'm playing Sire Emblem Heroes. We're on Chapter 2 of Book 1. So this is Conquest Trial. We're going to be fighting Xander. Xander, yes, and all the various characters of Fire Emblem Heroes. No, it's called Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. That's the game. Okay, well, Xander... Xander is sort of brainwashed by Princess Veronica. He feels the loneliness and the pain inside her. So it, it's not like the others, they, they were just like forced into some sort of really awful contract and that's why they work with her. No, Xander is actually working with her on purpose. Mm, Xander, buddy, pal. I thought you were better than that. I guess not. Well, Lynn, the enemy. Lynn and Roderick should just clear this pretty easily. You can see what level the enemies are um, on the, the front screen. I suppose that's not the right word for it. So we have a separate battle for each of those four royals who are in the game. So yeah, it says all the enemies are going to be level 4. So let me just edit my team here. Let's get those two off my team. Let's get those two off my team. I like them, but I'm not going to use them. I think I can win the battle with just, just Lynn and Roderick. So I'm going to try to fight this entire chapter with just them. And maybe do a special battle afterwards. Yes. Of course. Let's see, Roderick can kill Effie. She doesn't counterattack. Yeah, no, that's a good use of no counterattacking. Ready. Roderick can defeat Elise. Yeah, it's pretty simple here. I kind of just started the game. Prepare yourself. So that's why, that's why it's really simple here. Okay, so now we're fighting uh, Leo. Leo and his friends. So I'm just gonna auto battle this. Really, auto battle? What were you thinking? Okay. Canceling auto battle, which is basically just wasting my turns. Sorry, auto battle. But no. No, that was that was awful. Okay, yes. I'll have Lynn go here Understood. and I'll have Roderick kill that enemy. And then Lynn will kill the other enemy uh, this turn. So that's the downside to using auto battle. Sometimes auto battle is stupid. <laughs> no, no nice way of putting it there. Okay, so now we get to fight Ready. the bewitching princess Camilla. The oh my. Enemy. Oh wow, and they're all just going to die to Lynn because Lynn's got a bow and arrow. Okay. Yes. Nothing to worry about. Of course. I like Roderick's attitude. He seems upbeat. Understood. Like, eh, I don't have to worry. Uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race. It doesn't matter if I don't get a five point level up every time. You keep up that positive attitude. I like it. Okay, so the final battle. Hardest one of all, we are fighting Xander. We're gonna stomp you now. No, you're not. Stay no, close. you're not. You're gonna one hit kill. One hit kill. Bye bye, Xander. Ready. Let's have Roderick 
just boost Lin's defense, cause, well, no reason not to. Ooh, an attack boost, though. Of course. Oh, attack boost does not help her because she can't counterattack. Right. Yes. Okay, the remaining enemy is probably gonna attack Lin here. Really, he could have attacked either enemy. Not, I, I mean, both of my characters couldn't have counter-attacked him, so... Didn't really matter there. Okay, so, here we go. You fought well, I admit defeat. The contract is broken. I don't have to fight you anymore. But I'm still going to help Princess Veronica. I still like her. How can he choose to stay loyal to her? They're heroes who help. Help Veronica out of their own free will. Well, at least heroes like you, Argolfomf. Two of my best friends are heroes. I wish I had more hero friends. I've told you, Sharina. Heroes aren't friends, only allies. Oh, don't be so prickly. I think you're just mad because you had a hero friend and he left. Enough, Sharina. Well, am I right or not? Let's talk about no more. We should go back to the castle. Surely there's another mission. Something more pressing. I don't think there's anything more pressing. Ooh, recruit Xander and special maps. Hmm, special maps, special maps, special maps, special maps. When to get grand heroes as allies. Okay, where's, where is Xander? I don't see Xander anywhere. Um, yeah, I don't see Xander anywhere. Um, Ooh! Ah! Look at those levels! Okay, well that one's probably not so tough. But the other ones! Oh my gosh! Okay, so, um, gonna finish this video with a paralogue. We're doing Xenolog 3, the people's hero. If we fight these enemies, they're level 10. If we fight these enemies, we get a 5-star hero. So, I, I think what they did was a poll. They did a poll and a real a real life poll asking which hero should be summoned. And that hero was Mia! No, no not Mia. It was Ike. It was Ike. Okay, let's see. Let's move my characters here. Of course. Let's give Lin yeah. some defense. Let's have her kill Ike, because Ike is the more dangerous character. And I put Lin in real huge danger by moving her there, right? Yeah. That was dumb. Ready. Oh, there's Roy. Roy's also like a five-star hero, though, isn't he? Understood. I think he is. Okay. So I guess there was a choice between Roy and Ike, but everybody went with Ike. So Ike's going to be our new five-star character. And that'll be beautiful. So I have three five-star characters. And now, there it is. The hero should arrive at any moment. I can barely stand it. Who will it be? The hero that the people chose is... Ike! I like Ike! He's a legendary hero. Yeah. So, Ike is now on my team. I've got Ike, I've got three five-star heroes. Oh gosh, who should be my fourth hero, though? I don't... Let's go with Krom, because why not? Yeah, that's a good reason, I suppose.